In this short video, I'm going to show you how to use the Defence Heritage Records dataset and import it into QGIS, a free geo information system software package to use. So first off, we get we download the data we need from opendataNI.gov.uk. We're going to just search for Defence. The results that come up, we have the Defence Heritage Sites Northern Ireland data set with two options. We have the SHP shape file or the GeoJSON. We're going to download the shape file. With that file downloading, uh, or when it is downloaded, we will go into the folder that it contains and we'll see we have a lot of different files here. The file we're going to use in this example is the DBF file. Coming over to QGIS, the easiest way I find to import um, the data we want is just by dragging and dropping into the layers um, column on the left hand side. So I've created a group for Defence Heritage Record. I'm going to get my um, up to date DBF file, I'm going to drag it across and I'm going to place it into the Defence Heritage Record um, folder. If I make sure those are all shown on the map, and you can see that all the points within that data set are now displayed um, on the map. But as they stand, um, it's not very easy to see them because of the colour contrast, but also there's no other information associated with them. So I'm going to change that. Under the layers, I'm going to right click and go to properties of that particular layer. On the left hand side, there are lots of different options here, but for this, inf for this instance, uh, we're just going to go to labels. We're going to select the drop down and go to single labels. And we get a lot of options coming up. Uh, the quickest way to do this is on the value, select what data field we want to display. Um, I quite find that the D site type, uh, so the type of site it is, is a very useful um, option to mark our points with. We can change the font, we can change the style size, but more importantly, I need to change the color. So this is the color of the text that will be associated. Uh, with those because I like using the Google Earth background that's quite dark I just want to select a uh, white text so I'm going to make sure I've got white selected and click OK um, I'm then going to go OK to that and we can now see that the um, each of the the items is labeled with the type of uh, record that it is and you can see here for um, for an airfield in the Arts Peninsula uh, there's a lot more information in the database then that we want to be able to view and we want to be able to see. So simply to do that in QGIS is up at the very top menu. We have a little information um, identify features tab. So make sure that that's selected. Now any one of these tabs that we select will come up on the right hand side and it will identify the results. Um, so any of the fields that are populated, it will tell us. Um, so here we can see it is a Second World War fuel compound. Um, in County Down in the townland of Kalaki. And of course we can just select any one of those features um, that we have to look at the um, specific information associated with it. There, I hope you find that useful.